Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. a little chillier and a little damper out here but the good news is while it's going to rain all week the weather is going to be nicer so it's not going to be frigid whoops my bad I wanted to provide some tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum and hopefully you as parents and mentors, teachers, educators can find this video helpful even though there's a lot of other stuff in there. But I wanted to talk about something based on a hashtag that I found on Twitter today and it's also something that I had been wanting to talk about. So I thought that since it was trending, I would uh, vlog about it. So uh, as we know, we have problems with reading social skills. We have problems with reading facial expressions. We have problems with reading body language. We have problems with uh, understanding what different postures are. We have problems when somebody is being serious versus being sarcastic. We have problems when people uh, say they're gonna do something when it's really not gonna happen. So in this situation, I wanted to um, give some examples of what a fake friendship is. So yes, these are people that spend time with you, you talk on the phone, you listen to each other, you go to movies together, you go out to eat together, but there are all kinds of hidden nuances uh, in these relationships that uh, the other person seems to display. And I wanted to point them out and give you some examples that I faced as a um, individual on the spectrum. So one of the first things that a fake friend can do is that uh, they basically, uh, they can stab you in the back when you are uh, having a rough time. For example, I had somebody that I had associated with for eight years, and she was like that, basically uh, faked being my friend because uh, she just wanted something. And basically, um, they're not there for you when you need them the most. For example, um, I had to cut a unhealthy relationship uh, loose with a different friend because uh, she was uh, calling me up excessively and just not leaving me alone. And this other, quote, friend uh, wasn't there for me. And I was very sad about what I had to do. When I tried to talk to her on the phone, she suddenly just didn't have time for it or time to talk to me. And then she didn't call me to see how I was doing or rather she was short on the phone. Well, the next time I called and reached out to her, I was getting ready to um, see her and get together for something else. I found out that she and the other ex-friend that I had cut loose got together and went to a mall. Uh, another thing that she did was she went on vacation, right? And uh, 
she got the other girl a postcard, but I didn't get one. And that's a red flag right there. Um, another thing that um, a fake friend will do is that they will constantly manipulate you. They want you to act a certain way, but rather than telling you that they don't like you, they find other people, like their friends or their family, if you tend to get along with them, they'll tell you later on that, oh, this person doesn't like you because you talk too much or because you wear your hair too short. Um, another sign of a fake friend is, yes, um, you can pose together in a photo and they can smile with you in the photo or they can smile with you when you get together. But I recently learned that when you have a fake friend to not look at the mouth, but to look at the eyes because the eyes will tell you the exact truth. If the eyes are sparkling, that means they're truly happy to be with you. If there's a blank stare and there's a big smile on their face, it means that they don't want to be there. They don't want to be with you. They're just pretending. For example, my ex-friend and I posed in several photos and several people had pointed it out that uh, she had on a big, big fake smile and she wasn't really happy. And I just, I didn't know what they were talking about. And uh, then I went back later and looked at several birthday photos from my 30th birthday. And yes, yeah, she bought me a cake and she and her husband came, right? But just looking at the photos, I mean, she posed with, um, with this other girl that she got the postcard for. But I noticed that she didn't pose with me and it was everybody else but her posed with me. And anyway, when she did pose, she had the, uh, the blank stare on her face with a great big fake smile, but she was happy when she was in a photo by herself, and she was happy when she was snuggling with her husband. So those are some signs right there that uh, a relationship is fake. Um, they're constantly putting you down, and they're doing it in really subtle ways, like they tell you that you have to change, they tell you that you have to um, behave yourself or whatever it is. Um, they want you to be there for them, but when you're in trouble, forget it. They run away. Those are fake friends. So uh, those are fake friends right there. Those are, some, those are some hints and signs. Another thing to look for is when you have a fake friend is they're not going to smile when they see you. They're not going to give you a hug. If they do give you a hug, it just, it's not the, not the firm hug. Um, and, with, and again, if they, they don't smile at you, but you see them smiling at other people, that's a sign that they're not interested. Um, if they don't invite you to their birthday parties, but they invite everybody else, that means that they're fake. Or if they do invite you, but that they humiliate you in public, that's a sign of a fake friend. Well, there's, they're constantly nice to everybody else. Uh, again, those are fake people. And it's not necessarily that you're a bad person. It just means that they want something from you that they can gain for themselves. And whether it's money or whether it's loneliness, um, those, are, you know, those are some reasons. It was chilly on the, uh, the Georgia State University Mall when I exited the library, but when I come over here, uh, exiting to go to the Georgia State train station, it's not chilly anymore, but it's uh, a nice gentle drizzle. So I don't know if it was the breeze or if it was just in a cooler spot, whatever it was. every time I come to the Georgia State Station anymore the floor downstairs is wet disgusting and very slippery 